Welcome back to another Fusion tutorial. This is going to be part five of our dog tag keychain project. Last video, what we did is we took our dog tag blank and we made a sketch that was offset from the outside and we cut out this center section. Okay, and we saw just how easy it can be if you're just trying to mimic the external shape. Now, what we need to do next is we're going to add text or in this case, your initials. So to do that, just like we've done so many times before, you're going to go up to the top left corner and choose Create Sketch. Okay, green plus mark again. This time, though, you need to be careful. We want to make sure that we get the bottom of the tray shape. So right inside of here, we don't want the top. Okay, we do not want the bottom or a side. We want that inside tray shape. And I'm going to click on it. Okay, and again, we go into Sketch Mode so everything looks flat. Um, you need to understand even though you can see this lip, this lip is technically hanging out above. So you are drawing down inside of here. That's what we want. Now to create text is pretty simple. Uh, Fusion has gotten a lot better with text and extrusion. And what we can do is go up here to the top left where it says create, click the drop down menu, and about two thirds of the way down, you'll see a, a capital A and it says text. Go ahead and click on that. Now like most text programs, um, you'll notice the menu has pretty much no options. We're not going to do type on a path today. We're just going to stick with regular text. The first thing it needs from you is a text box or basically where you would like to place the text. If I take my mouse and hover over this inside corner right here, you should get a light blue box that indicates the endpoint uh, or the exact corner. I'm going to click once and then I'm going to move diagonally down to the bottom right corner. And when I get my blue box again, I'm going to click. The reason we're doing that is that is actually going to put our text perfectly in the middle of our keychain if we have everything set correctly. So you'll notice our menu has expanded. The first thing I would like you to do is where it says text inside the menu, type your initials. Um, you are welcome to choose if you want to include a middle name if you have one. If you have two initials, three initials, four initials, that is fine. You should not, however, put your name on this, just your initials. So I'm going to do mine, which is JSO. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to jump down here to where it says alignment. And the first thing we're going to do is choose align center. Okay, so it's going to center it in the box. And then we're also going to do align middle. That's going to take it off of the top and put it in the middle of the box. Okay. We're not going to mess with the font. We're not going to do bold or italic or anything like that. The only other thing that we need to change is the height. Now, your height originally is probably something to the tune of 0.397. Um, Okay, so it's maybe about that big. You need to mess with this number until you get a nice size that fills the keychain, but you should have a gap around the outside of it. We don't want it to be too close. And the reason for that is, is when we cast these out of metal, if it's too close to the edge, your, uh, your mold will break when we ram this up in sand. So I might start off by putting in something like 0.5 or a half inch tall. That's bigger, but it's not fully filling the keychain. So maybe we'll try 0.6. That looks pretty good. It's got a pretty good gap around it. Maybe we'll try 0.7. All right, this is too much. So you'll notice that my J and my O touch the outsides. There's no gap around them. So maybe I back up and say 0.65. Okay. This is acceptable, but the gap at the J and the back of the O are a little bit too big. So I think we're gonna go back to 0 0.60. This is probably the best size for my name. If you have a W in your name, particularly, or any wide letters, you might have to fuss with it. You don't want that gap to close up by the point. Okay. Once you have your letters set, go ahead and click OK. The only thing that we need to do is click Finish Sketch in the top right-hand corner. And again, as always, choose your house button so that we flip that into 3D. Now, if you look carefully, you'll notice that the letters are literally just painted on the surface. So there is nothing there other than those letters and what we're going to do is we're going to choose extrude as soon as we click extrude you're going to notice that the whole thing highlights if we were to extrude right now the letters and the interior would all extrude that's not what we want so what i can do is hover inside of this area where the blue is and when it lights up click on it and then come over top of your letters they'll turn dark blue that's when you should click the last thing we're going to do is we're going to extrude the letters. So type in 0.05, not 0 0.05, or not 0 0.5. 0 0.05 is what we want. 
and your letters should pop up and stick out just like that. So that's how we would go through and extrude our letters.